In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that the, those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that would not become visible and nothing secret that would not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, Jesus speaks about um, a lamp. He gives us a little short parable of a lamp. No one lights a lamp and puts it under and covers it up or puts it under a bed, but it is there to enlighten everybody else. So those who go into the house can see the lamp, that it would be a benefit for, for others. So the, the light, first of all, is God's word. That is the light, a light for our path, a light for our life, a light for our transformation, for us to see and to, um, and to know and to grow. And so it depends on how we receive God's word. A lot of times, if we're not receptive, then it, it, it has no effect on us, has no impact on us. We're not changed by it. But if we receive it and we allow it to enlighten us, to change us, to, uh, <clears throat> to help us to see and to grow and to live it out, um, then we can be a light for others. And so, um, and so that, that's what it means. Um, we receive God's word with openness, with receptivity, with love and gratitude. We embrace it and we practice it. We incorporate it into our life and we are changed by it. We become good, we become holy, we become like God. We become his instrument, his representative in the world. And then others will see that, where they will see our light and give glory to God. Um, and we can see this, I, I see this among people too. Those who live by God's word, live a holy life. They are devout, they are, they are virtuous, they are holy, they are filled with joy and peace and love and patience. And then, th and then those who are, uh, have not received God's word, then they are a lot of times filled with anxiety and stress and sin and worry and so on. Um, so we are called to be a light for others. And then lastly, Jesus said, those who have, more will be given. And those who, who uh, uh, have not, even what they seem to have, will be taken away. And that's how it is with us. If we are receptive, if we are responsive to God's word, allowing it to penetrate us and work through us, then we receive it even more. God will give us even more graces. But if we're not receptive, if um, then even what the little that we seem to have would be taken away. We thank you, Jesus, for reminding us how important it is of receiving your word, of being open and receptive and embracing your word into our lives so that we may be your light in the world, so that others may see our good works and glorify the Father. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.